Okay, so welcome to Quick Calculus. And in this video, we will be solving an example involving the chain rule. No? So we have here f of x is equal to 5x squared minus 3x plus 2, all raised to negative 3. No? So kukunin natin yung f prime of x. The first thing that we need to do is tignan natin yung outer function. Okay, so what do I mean by outer function? Titignan natin kung ano yung nasa pinakalabas na function. And that is yung raised to negative 3. Tama? So, kunin natin yung derivative na yun, raised to negative 3. So, pababa natin siya. So, negative, negative 3 times 5x squared minus 3x plus 2. Then, sabi natin, ma-minus 1 natin exponent. So, this will become minus 4. Times, sabi natin yung, susunod na natin yung outer function na hindi kasama yung una natin na function. So, that's... So, in this case, magiging yung inner function na to. 5x squared minus 3x plus 2. So, times derivative na 5x squared minus 3x plus 2. This, this is just 10x minus 3. Okay? So, ito na yung derivative natin of f of x. Okay? So, let's do another example. Let's say you have f of x is equal to 2x squared plus x raised to 3. So, Kapag gagawin ito, again, we look at the outermost function. So, the outermost function is raised to 3. So, this is f prime of x is, bababa natin. So, 3 times 2x squared plus x. Tapos, babasa natin isa, squared. Okay? Times, derivative nung nasa loob naman. No? So, this will become 4x plus 1. And, yan na yung ating derivative. Okay? So, let's do one last example. If you have f of x is equal to 2x squared plus 1 raised to 1 half. Okay? So, derivative na ito is, again, outermost function is yung 1 half. So, baba natin. So, 1 half plus 2x squared plus 1. Then, minus 1 sa numerator. Minus 1 half. Okay? Times derivative ng loob, which is just 4x. Okay? So, ganun lang naman yung pagkuha ng derivative using chain rule. So, again, check the outermost function muna. And then, work your way paloob ng paloob. No? So, una, check mo yung pinakalabas na function. So, in this case, yung mga exponents. And then, yung function sa loob nila. Okay? So, kung may function ulit sa loob nila, then multiply nyo lang yung derivative na yun. Okay? And repeat it until wala na tayong composite na function. Okay? So that is our examples for chain rules. So see you in the next video.